it's impossible. So I, I, I had to, I had to like pump the brakes on my PVP skill levels a little bit to make it, you know, more believable. Uh, yeah, so. Mr. Big Shot, thank you so much for another gifted sub, dude. Uh. What's up, Envy? <clears throat> Alright, so you guys want to start? Hype train is concluded. You guys down to start with a will of build? I don't know why I'm yanking on a towel. What's up, gaming frog? Oh, man. Oh, get my stretchies in. Um, all right. Oh, I, I'm going to need two people to hop in and rock and roll on this one with me. <clears throat> By the way. Mm -mm. Macta, can you carry me to get high power? Nope. I think you... I think you got that covered all on your own. What's up, Sir Joe? What's up, Owen? What's up, Yue? What's up, Lucario? What's up, Jayton? What's up, Clint? <clears throat> Everyone hanging over on YouTube. How you doing? Um. So let's see. So subs get priority when it comes to these situations. <clears throat> hey, hey, I want to play. I'm starting off with Will It Build, but then we're going to do some Grandmaster Nightfall carries afterwards. So we're going to have a good day today. Let's get... Let's get Arakdos. And Ghost. <clears throat> I need to carry through the whetstone. I'm, I'm considering setting up a day to do whetstone carries. Uh, I, 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 cause I, I, I think Wicked Implement's a pretty good weapon and I think a lot of people don't have it. So I've, I've been considering setting up like a whetstone carry day. What's up, Leroy? How you doing? Dude, I dig your videos. They have helped me out tremendously. Thanks for watching them, Athena. I appreciate it. What do you need? <clears throat> um, you want to just pull up on like Invis Hunter or something, Ghost? And then, uh, Ar Arachdos, what do you bring into the party? Mm -mm. Can you make a Titan build just like the Nighthawk Hunter build? Uh, Titans cannot equip Celestial Nighthawk. <laughs> they also don't have a Golden Gun. So, is your Falcons Hunter or Shards? Um, how we feel about Nighthawk Hunter, Arakdos? What is the Adept? Um, is it the Sniper right now, guys? Is it the sniper rifle? Sniper. Um. Trying to get my Aquanaut title, and that is all I want. We don't have Divinity and have our asses. Do, do you need to do Whetstone to get Aquanaut?
What's up, John? I don't even... Because I, I, I don't do titles anymore. I love your Pyragale will it build, and I got... So, the Pyragale uh, Titan, the Pyragale Consecration Titan, that's going to be my next build video. Like, my... Like, my next official build video is going to be Pyragale. Aquanaut. <clears throat> oh, earn the exotic scout rifle wicked implement. Gotcha. Gotcha. What what is this? Vehicle? Is that a sparrow? <clears throat> huh. Oh, it's like a submarine. That's cute. Maybe 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 we'll do some whetstone carries today. It, it, like, uh, let's get a poll. Ever, everyone do me a favor real quick. Everyone type the number one in chat if you, if you have not yet acquired the whetstone exotic, or the wicked implement exotic scout rifle. I want to know how many people... Hey, Envy, I, I, I didn't say spam it, my man. I didn't say spam it. We're going to put you in a timeout if you, if you can't behave. I didn't say spam it. I said just type one. Where does it drop? It comes from the secret mission and deep dives. Test the will of build in a GM carry. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> I actually really enjoyed that mission. It kicked my butt the first couple times, though. I like it a lot. I think it's fantastic. Um, KMIK or KMIK. Thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub over on Twitch. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much, KMIK. Um... <clears throat> Sagar, you're my man, dude. You uh, anytime, just shoot me a DM anytime. Be like, hey Mac, I need help getting wet, get, getting the right uh, scout rifle. Just shoot me a DM. I got you, my man. My bad, I did not know that there is never any reason to spam the same message over and over and over and over again. No, no circumstance that ever calls for it. Yeah, the mission is great. The fact that you have to do half of a deep dive just to get to it is so annoying. The mission itself, spectacular. Having to do deep dive, though, just to get... Oh, gross. I'm, I'm right there with you guys. Um... Yeah, let's do some wicked... Okay, we'll do some wicked implement... Okay, so guys, change of plans on the stream today. We're starting with a will it build. Then we're going to do some wicked implement carries and some Grandmaster Nightfall carries. We'll do both. I think that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. You think the bug out bag is a terrible SMG? It's just a worse version of Callus's main tool. And fishing? I don't think I even have all the exotic fish.
I a broken blade has been claimed from the EDZ. That just means I have the exotic fish from the EDZ, right? So anyone, anyone that I'm helping will have to have the the throne world fish and the Nessus fish. Because listen, I'm down to help you guys, but there is no way I'm going and doing fishing. It's not happening. You guys are great. Appreciate my community. Uh, yeah, I'm down to help you out with GMs. I'm down to help you out with the missions. I'm down to help you out with anything. I ain't fishing. I I am not under any circumstance fishing in Destiny 2. It's not happening. It's so boring. I love your little build vids. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate it. I will do... Listen. I would rather play Trials of Osiris than go fishing in Destiny 2. Not doing it. It's it's off the table. It's not in the cards for me. I apologize. I'm sorry. Fishing or div run? Dude, I love doing div runs. I uh, Divinity runs are like one of my favorite things to do. I love doing Divinity runs. Would a 100 gifted change that is wonder? A uh, 100 gifted will get a Lego 501st clone trooper for, uh, named after you. I have four left. I ain't fishing though. Hey, it's not happening. I'm not fishing. Oh, yeah, hello. Hey, if you guys are down with D2 fishing, that's awesome. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Me? Personally? I wake up 6 a.m. every morning, log on to Destiny 2, stop by the fishing pond, and release some chemicals in there to kill all the fish so that they hopefully remove it from the game eventually and don't involve it in any more quests. I've been putting anthrax in those ponds for months. <clears throat> I don't like it, okay? Almost toxic when you play Fortnite? I'm super nice when I play Fortnite. <clears throat> Unless there's some fucking loser doing solo squads with TTV in his name, playing like the biggest fucking rat that I've ever seen. In which case, I'm not very nice. Uh, okay. Mm-mm. How much would I need to give you for going fishing? I thought have 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 we not already come to a consensus on this? Boys. I am not going fishing in Destiny 2. Period. That's the end of the sentence. There's no ifs. There's no buts. It's not happening. I could send you a thousand dollars USD if you do fishing. First of all, you wouldn't do that anyway. Second of all, nah, I'm good. I'm not fishing. I'm not doing it. And that's what's up. I know a bluff when I see one anyway. Um, all right. Big Red Pond. Thank you so much for the daily dollar. Appreciate it, dude. Base Mactics not taking bribes. I don't like, I, I, I don't do things for money. I like it. People come in here sometimes and they're like, uh, I don't know. 
Some people come in here and they're like, hey, like, you guys remember that one guy? Who was like, hey, Mac, I'll give you $100 if you do solo Vault of Glass. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that right now. And they were like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, you can't, like... You can't, like, throw money at me to make me do things. That shit was weird. Yeah, I always say, like, listen, if... If you want to financially support the channel, do it because you like the content. Not because you're exchanging it for me to do certain things. Obviously, the fishing situation, we're just joking around. But, yeah. Or, just watch completely for free. You don't gotta spend a dime in here. That's a cool thing about streams. If you, if you want to spend money, if you want to tip, if you want to gift, uh, you can. It's fun. If you don't want to do any of that, you want to watch for completely free, you can also do that too. That's why I love streams, dude. If you don't have to pay, if, if you don't want to pay a dime, you don't have to. You get the exact same viewing experience that everyone else gets. That's why I love streaming. Like, literally anyone can watch me. There's no, there's no entry cost. There's no, like, that's why I love making videos. I love streaming. It doesn't cost anything. Anyone can watch. Which means everyone can be involved. It's fun. I had my little boy do the fishing for me for a Mars bar. Is that bro, you're running fucking labor camps in your house to get exotic fish? <laughs> this dude's got fucking sweatshops in his living room. Fucking fishing for him. I'd do the exact same thing. That's based. I'd do the exact same thing. Say, so, hey, listen, little Jimmy, you want to eat tonight? <laughs> I better have an exotic fish in my inventory by five. <laughs> or, or uh, you know, you're going to bed with uh, you know, a little piece of bread and that's it. Hello there, first time coming to the stream. Love your videos. Thank you, little monkey. I appreciate it. You go with Jimmy? Nah, it's just, you know, when you think of a little kid. Jimmy, Timmy, Billy. It's like the first couple names that pop into the head, you know? Aiden Shields, thank you for the 100 bits as well, by the way. I appreciate it. What's up, Valorous? How you doing, man? Can we just keep loading into Presage last boss CP to farm red border for DMT? You can get red borders for DMT. So, guys, we're getting distracted. Are you guys you know, like it? Are, you, are, are, are we down to record an episode of Will It Build right here, right now? We down right now? And then we can continue with the anti-Destiny 2 fishing propaganda. How did you not know that? Guys, I... Outside of builds, I don't know anything about this video game. If, if, if it doesn't have to do with builds, I know nothing about it. Especially... Especially... If it's a, if it involves crafting, if it involves crafting, I know nothing about it. Zero. Crafting, I don't know jack shit about it. Exotic focusing, don't know a thing. Engram focusing, don't know a thing. They, because listen, they changed all of these systems so many times that I just stopped paying attention to them. Because I'm like, well, there's no point in me learning how this system works because they're just going to change it again in a couple of months. So I just stopped paying attention. The last thing I remember about crafting is there were like seven different resources that we had to maintain in our inventory and different, depending on the origin source of the weapon you wanted to craft, you had to use a different resource to craft it and to get specific perks. And then they changed that so that it 
so that it only uses one resource and they change it again so that we don't have any resources. Like, I can't keep up. I don't like it's a job. It, it is an actual it's like I am taking a college class and I need to do homework every night just so I understand all of the systems in Destiny 2. Or this gun shoots bullets and kills enemies. Good enough for me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, the gun shoots bullets? Sick. Let's do it. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, if it sounded like I was going like clinically insane for a brief moment there, it's because I was. If for a brief moment you were thinking to yourself, is Mac actually losing his mind? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. Guys, please bring me back to Earth. Andre Boston, thank you so much for becoming a member over on YouTube. I appreciate it a ton, Andre. That's actually very rare. Um, We have... uh. Becoming a, uh, we, we actually don't have a whole lot of members over on YouTube. So Andre, that's a part of a pretty exclusive club there. I appreciate it, homie. Stuff like that is exactly, it goes directly into helping me make my videos. So thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. Wicked Implement is the exotic scout rifle from the Whetstone exotic mission from Deep Dives. Mm -mm. DJ Spinlock, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, dude. I just joined. What did I miss? Uh, I was ranting about because people were making fun of me because I didn't know that there were red border DMTs. So I said I I I I went on a rant on why I don't know jack shit. Cheers! I do enjoy your videos too much not to join. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. That means a lot to me, dude. Um, okay, these are fun conversations, guys, and I do want to continue them while we're doing Whetstone carries and Grandmaster Nightfall carries, but I think we're here to see a live recorded episode of Will It Build. Correct? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we're here to see a live episode of Will It Build. How am I just now finding out you stream on Twitch? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. But now you know. <clears throat> um, oh, I need to... Okay, so I need to mute my alerts so that we don't get... I can leave the background music on. The background music doesn't cause an issue, uh, but I do need to mute the stream alerts. So if you guys give subs and stuff like that in the middle of the Will It Build episode, it'll still appear on screen and it'll end up being in the video, actually. Um, it just won't make any noise. It won't, like, play the song, if that makes sense. Um, well, let's see. Oh, we have another new member on YouTube, but I don't know how to say that name guys how do i say this name <laughs> philip thank you very much thank you for helping me out there philip thank you so much for becoming a brand new member on the youtube i appreciate it a great deal um like i said to andre stuff like that is it goes directly into helping me uh make my videos so thank you it genuinely means a lot to me i appreciate it um that's awesome 
All right, guys. We're going to record a live episode of Will It Build right now. Um, which means I'm going to be a little less talkative with chat just because I'm going to be very focused on actually talking about the build and, you know, going through everything. So sit back, relax, um, enjoy the show. And whoa. Yo, this chess piece is crazy. Um, sorry. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. And, um... We'll get back to all of our good chats right after we finish this Will It Build episode live. Uh, and we'll get some whetstone carries going for people who still need the Wicked Implement Exotic Scout Rifle from the Deep Dive Exotic Mission. And we'll do some Grandmaster Nightfall carries as well for people who need help with Grandmaster Corrupted. With all that said, let's get to it. We'll clap a few times to sync up the audio. One, two, three. Let's get it, baby. Mm -mm. Uh, let's see here. I think we're good to go. Welcome to another episode of Will It Build. Today, we're rocking and rolling with a Stasis Warlock build submitted by Vovo titled the Icy Empress. They say, prepare to dominate the battlefield in any form of content with endless armies of turrets, crowd control, and damage. The ability regeneration of this build is so good, you'll be throwing grenades when in need of ability energy. They, like, forget to finish their sentence or something like that? I don't know. Uh, either way... Today, we're going to mix things up a little bit by testing this, not in the coil, but since they say it can dominate the battlefield in any form of content, we're going to go ahead and test it out in what I would consider to be to one of the... Sorry. We're going to go ahead and test it out in what I would consider to be one of the absolute hardest pieces of content in the entire game, the Grand Master Nightfall variant of the Corrupted Strike. Not only that... We're also going to do it at the same time that we're going to do a Grandmaster Nightfall carry. Those who watch my streams, twitch.tv slash Mactics, where we film these live, know that I do Grandmaster Nightfall carries in here all of the time. So I've got Ghost and Arakdos in here who both need the clear for Grandmaster Corrupted. So we're going to see if this build can not only stand up in Grandmaster Corrupted, but can it rock and roll and steal the show and take care of business even when we have two other people who are still needing to complete the strike. So let's get the build set up and then we'll hop into the strike and rock and roll. They say, see the screenshots for the subclass setup in mods. Please type them out for me next time. I'm begging you. I've, I've already started looking at the build, so I'm not going to turn away now. But I've listen, my eyes ain't that good. I can't really tell what the fragments are just by looking at the icons. I, I need the names. So please type them out for me next time. I'll let you guys know what the names are. In fact, I'll have my editor. Can we display the names on screen, please, of the aspects and fragments as we get through the build? Obviously, with Stasis, only one super. I can tell that that is Healing Rift. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we have Healing Rift equipped. Whatever jump you want. Jumps are typically dealer's choice. Uh, obviously only one melee for this. And then we have the cold snap grenade, which I already have equipped. As far as aspects, it looks like I have one of them on already. We have glacial harvest, where freezing targets creates stasis shards around the frozen target. Higher tier combatants create more shards. And it looks like we have bleak watcher, which is the turret aspect, where you can hold your grenade to be able to convert it into a stasis turret that you can throw out that will occupy the battlefield for a decent period of time and shoot a bunch of slowing projectiles, eventually freezing all the enemies. Great for cloud, <laughs> sorry, great for crowd control. As far as our fragments go, the first one looks like a little... Okay, it's a little ball with like a hole in the middle. I think it's this one, the Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. Now, I always like to see exactly how, you know, what kind of effects these things are giving. So if we come to the Destiny Data Compendium and we look at the Whisper of Chains, being within 10 meters of a frozen enemy or a friendly crystal grants 40% damage resistance. That's actually how much damage resistance you got from pre-nerf tier 10 resilience. So... With this build, you effectively get that back, turns you into a little bit of a tank, especially when you couple it with a high resilience stat as well. And especially consider the fact that 
if you're standing next to a frozen target, they're not hitting you anyway, so even less things to deal damage to you. Not that it would really matter. You probably soak a lot of damage because of how tanky you're going to end up being. In terms of other fragments, looks like we have another ball with like a line horizontally down the middle. Trying to figure these out as best I can. Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets. This one I do question a little bit. And I think we'll kind of have a, uh, a decree at the end of the video as to whether or not I like taking this here. Because I feel like this one is kind of uh it's kind of uh what's the word um i feel like this one is kind of butting heads with what the build is supposed to do because the what the build is advertised to do is crowd control everything and freeze everything and make it so that nothing can shoot at you yet we're taking a fragment that gives us benefits when we get shot at so we'll see how it works out in practice i also kind of want to take a peek at like you know statistically how much are we getting from this receiving damage from an enemy grants five percent grenade energy incurs a one second cooldown between energy gains so i think it could be decent we'll see i mean I, this is something that i think just needs to be seen in practice so we're gonna we're gonna rock and roll if i feel like it wasn't that useful uh i'll let you know what you guys should use as an alternative in our third fragment slot we have got uh, looks like the Whisper of Durance. Slow that you apply to targets lasts longer. For those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase. Fun fact about this that I learned way back when I did the uh, Stasis Warlock playbook along with Imagine, another great build crafter. I was actually made aware that this fragment also increases the duration that your stasis turret exists on the field. I can't remember the exact numbers. I wonder if it'll tell us uh, in the Destiny data compendium if we scroll up to it. Um, it looks like you get an extra five seconds to all slow sources. So I think turrets have a base of like 20 to 25 seconds on the field. Uh, I think it takes it up, them up to 25 or 30 respectively, but it, it makes your turrets last longer, which is fantastic. Also makes the slow last longer, uh, which makes it easier to freeze targets because there's, uh, more time that has to pass for those slow stacks to drop off. Makes it easier to build them up, which I like a lot. Um, finally in our fragments, looks like we have, uh, another, it's like a, it's like a backwards E. I hope I'm describing these well. Nearby stasis shards track to your position. Love this one because of the stat bonuses we get. We get plus 10 resilience and intellect, which is awesome. But I like that because it synergizes with gl uh, glacial harvest really well. Freezing targets create stasis shards. They'll automatically track to us with conduction. That feels really, really good. So there's our uh, subclass setup. In terms of weapons, they're recommending that we rock and roll with a deliverance with demolitionist and chill clip. However, that is a raid weapon, and I understand a lot of people might not have that. So what they do offer as an alternative is that Riptide with Demolitionist is a decent alternative if you don't have Deliverance. I'm assuming that they're, they're, the, the angle that they're trying to go into is kind of a stasis fusion rifle that has Demolitionist because it's going to allow you to get your grenades back more frequently. I'd imagine that this weapon is not going to be super necessary for the build. Um, I'll try to come up with a couple alternatives for you guys who might not raid and might not have this weapon. Um, as they said already, they've got Riptide, but we'll see how important the weapon truly is to the build. As far as the other weapons, they say any energy or power weapons that you want, so I'm just rocking and rolling with Polaris Lance because it's pretty good this season with all the seasonal artifact mods and Apex Predator because, you know, I love the recon, recon bait and switch Apex. You know, can't go wrong with it. For the Exotic Arbor... They're hooking us up with the Osmiomancy Gloves, which are absolutely peak for Stasis Warlock. Your Cold Snap Grenades have an additional charge, so you get two of them, and they recharge quicker on direct impact. The Seeker Spawn from Cold Snap Grenades also travels further. So this basically makes it so that Cold Snaps, you get two of them, and they refund themselves if you use them just strictly as a Cold Snap Grenade. I'm going to show you guys some really cool stuff that you can do with this because the amount that Cold Snaps refund to you is actually based on the tier of the enemy. So if we come over here to Exotic Armors and we look at Osmiomancy Gloves, 
you'll see here that you get 10% of the grenade back if you hit a tier one, a red bar enemy with a grenade, but you get all the way up to a 50% grenade refund if you hit mini bosses, champions, bosses, and things of that nature, which can make them extremely potent in Grandmaster Nightfall content. As we, you know, get into the run, I'm gonna show you guys some super cool stuff that you can do to take advantage of this. Got a little uh, neat tip slash trick for that. But Let's go ahead and finish getting the build together. We want to make sure that we have our mods all set up. It looks like they are sticking us with a stasis siphon, a heavy ammo scout, and a heavy ammo finder. Personally, I feel that we're going to be getting significantly more weapon kills with our primary ammo weapon. So I think it would make more sense to go with a solar siphon. I'm going to go with what they recommend. However, keep that in the back of y'all's minds. I'll kind of comment at the end of the video what I felt made more sense but we'll go harmonic because harmonic is we're on a stasis subclass that will allow us to have the stasis siphon and then uh i guess we'll maybe invest in a little bit of recovery why not we already have max resilience and max discipline so might as well slap a recovery mod on in here as far as the gloves go we have triple grenade kickstart so we're actually not really going to be able to have any mod right there because we're uh investing all of our energy right here that's actually going to make me come back here slot a discipline grenade back in so that uh we get our discipline stat uh back up there again um we can go with something like a we can do a minor mod somewhere maybe a minor strength mod i guess doesn't really matter too much i like the triple grenade kickstart though that's pretty spicy um so i'm wondering if we if we look if we come back to the destiny data compendium we look at grenade kickstart um so the way kickstart mods work is you get grenade ability energy back. Uh, there's a bunch of tiers here, as you can see. The way it determines how much grenade ability energy you get back on cast is it combines the number of armor charge stacks you have with the number of mods that you have. So, for example, if we have three, if we have three grenade kickstart mods and two armor charge stacks, it'll multiply them together because all three are all three of the mods are taking advantage of each armor charge stack so that would add you, you, tldr you would go six places so basically if we have one stack of armor charge we get 28.4 percent grenade energy back if we have two stacks of armor charge we get 41.3 percent back uh too confusing too many numbers ignore that shit we're gonna get a lot of grenade energy back every time we throw a grenade that's uh, that, that that's the key takeaway here um, as far as our chest looks like just some standard resistance mods, whatever you kind of want to rock and roll with. I think I'll go with some arc resistances and maybe a void, uh, since we are doing the Grandmaster. I think I'll go one solar for the Nightfire since it is Grandmaster Corrupted. On the boots, it looks like we've got Innervation, Recuperation, and Elemental Charge. Absolutely love Elemental Charge here, uh, because of how many Stasis Shards we're going to be generating. That's going to be a great way to acquire Armor Charge stacks. And then on the class item, we have got Reaper, Powerful Attraction, and Bomber, which makes perfect sense to me how, you know, how focused this build is on making orbs so we get Armor Charge stacks for our Grenade Kickstarts, uh, and uh, giving us more Grenade Energy so we can continuously throw out turrets. So this looks like the full mod setup as far as I can tell. Again, I think that Solar Siphon would make more sense here, but I'm going to use what they recommended. This is the weapons we've ended up, although this is the only one that's really required. Looks like I am a little high in the resilience department, so I think we can come down here and swap that out for something else. But this is what we've got set up. Let's go ahead and hop in and answer that question. Will it build? This looks similar to your playbook build. It is pretty similar, yeah. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. All good. Mm -mm. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, mischiev uh, mi mischievous. I wanted to say mischievous. Mischievous. Thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub over on Twitch. I appreciate it, dude. What's up, beat? What's the gem nightfall right now? Is it still corrupted? It sure is. Mm -mm. The playbook is pretty outdated at this point. I mean, not really. Just the mods are outdated. I mean, your subclass setup is basically identical to my playbook. And your weapon selection. And the grenade kickstarts. What's up, B-Roth? How you doing, my man? Good to see you. 
Uh, so the first thing I want to show you guys, like I was talking about, I've got some cool little tips with the cold snap grenades. So as you can see here, if I throw a cold snap grenade at the champion, it'll give me 50% of it back. But what's really cool is that the direct impact of the cold snap grenade also counts as a hit. So you can actually throw cold snap grenades at champion tier enemies completely for free because the direct impact of the cold snap grenade will give you a 50% refund. And then when it hits the ground and creates the seeker that will track to the enemy and freeze it, that'll give you the other 50%. That also works on any boss enemy, any mini boss enemy. It works on all champions, everything of that nature, which is really, really cool. So same thing, this guy's a boss enemy over here. So if you look at my grenades, as long as I hit him with it directly, you can kind of see that it's just continuously giving me the full grenade back, which is really cool. Well, I mean, it helps if you actually land the grenade, uh, but it ends up being really cool because you can continuously get shatter damage on the bosses, which is really, really neat. Um, we I kind of learned this back in the day from Imagine when I made the original Stasis Warlock playbook. And uh, I mean, it's, a, it's an absolutely killer, um, killer tip to keep in the back of your head if you want to infinitely freeze champions for free. Um, so now I kind of want to kill these enemies here. So I'm going to throw out a stasis turret, getting a little weak, so we'll get the healing rift down. So we got to, okay, well, never mind. Uh, looks like my teammates abandoned me. So you know what? On second thought, you can cop the res. Actually, no, I do want to kill these guys. Uh, currently recording a uh, YouTube video right now, be rough. So doing uh, doing fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna try we're gonna try and sneak around here, get the penumbral blast, and freeze that acolyte so we can start cleaning some stuff up. I'm getting blasted. I don't know why I'm taking damage from. I don't know why he's doing his retaliation bolts. Ghost, make sure you're not doing damage to the overload, because I'm going to get cooked by the retaliation bolts. Um, okay, so... It's a little shaky. Let's get a stasis turret out to get some crowd control on the battlefield. That should make it much easier for me to get this revive. Excellent. I've got overload rockets. Oh. They all just disappeared. Let's reset this. Because I actually want to kill those enemies. Mm -mm. Typically, if we were doing carries, I'd be down to just skip them. Because, like, you still, you'll still get platinum. Um... But if we're testing out how good a build is at, you know, performing in a Nightfall Strike, probably want to actually fight this stuff, you know? The GM is still a Corrupted, easy GM IMO. Statistically, Corrupted is one of the hardest GMs in the entire game. b rough did you end up getting that Flawless, by the way? I was, uh, I was wondering about that. You asked me for streamer luck. Let's get a uh, let's get a stasis turret out. Actually, right off right off the bat, the signs of the end are so annoying. I don't mind them too much. Stasis turret doing work right there. Yeah, we'll still circle around because I, I like fighting from over here a lot better. Okay, so now we'll get a stasis turret out on the field to start freezing enemies. Perfect. And I want to kind of try and take these sniper enemies out. I actually have Radiant, thanks to the seasonal mods. So I don't really have to worry too much 
about those Vandal Barriers, because if you have Radiant, that gives you Anti-Barrier. And Anti-Barrier can shoot through those little barriers, by the way, fun fact. I don't know how many people know that. But now we've... I actually... I just stunned the Hobgoblin. I didn't even mean to. But uh, my turret was out on the field, and it was just poking at them, apparently. Just gonna keep chucking the turrets out. Keep freezing everything. They're kind of doing all the work for me. Do, 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 do. Everything's frozen. Everything's stunned. Because the turrets are actually awesome. The turrets can stun both Overload Champions and Unstoppable Champions. Because Overload Champions get stunned uh, from slow. So if the turret even puts a single bullet into an Overload Champion, it'll stun it. Uh, Unstoppable Champions obviously get stunned when you shatter them, which means dealing damage to them when they're frozen. So if the turrets just put a couple of rounds into the Unstoppable Champion, it'll eventually freeze them and uh, you'll be able to break them out and stun them. It actually messes with barrier champions too, because if it freezes them before they put their barrier shield up, then you don't even have to worry about hitting through the barrier shield. So I always love a build that can tackle all three types of champions because it, it makes it so that your loadout can be much more you know up to you. You have a lot more freedom with your weapon loadout because you're not forced to use things that coincide with the seasonal champion artifact mods. So a uh, big W there. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pre-charge both the balls on my with my friends, and then let's get some let's get some stasis turrets deployed. I'm gonna cast my class ability too to proc bombers, so I get a little bit of grenade energy back, so I can get a second turret out there. Look at those turrets doing absolute work. Oh. It would help, uh, it would help if I didn't die to a, a random flying Axiom Dart that I didn't see. And we're out of grenade energy now. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna try and pre-charge another two balls. I'm gonna give that back to you. Deliverance sounds super cool. There we go. And there's our demolitionist kill. Now we can get another cold snap grenade on the field in preparation for these scions. And then I think this will be a great time to cast my stasis super. So we can freeze all of these mini boss tier enemies and do a ton of damage to that. Oh my God. Well, I would say that this is probably one of the hardest sections of the entire strike, and uh, we just cooked it with half of a super, so <laughs> that uh, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. Okay, so we'll continue plinking away at enemies from a distance. I see I'm in a predicament here. I want to allow the enemies to hit me because... Then that procs one of my fragments to give me grenade energy whenever I get hit by an enemy. But at the same time, I don't really want to let them hit me in a Grandmaster Nightfall because then they're going to absolutely cook me. So I'm uh, th that's kind of the that's kind of the you know it's the it's the issue there. You know, it's, I, I I don't like to I don't want my play style to you know be something where it's like I'm trying to get hit because you, know, you know that's how you end up dying. I'm thinking, too, we should also make more use of our Penumbral Blast because we're going to have it up so frequently since every time we pick up Stasis Shards, it gives us um, melee energy. So that's going to be another good thing to keep in mind as we move forward with this build. So now we have a cold snap and a half. So I think I'm going to want to use this one on the unstoppable champion. I don't want to use it uh, as a turret. I'm going to want to use this one as just a regular cold snap. That way I can get the energy refund from it. Um, thanks to the Osmiomancy gloves, since you don't necessarily get that refund uh, when you throw it out as a turret. So we got him stunned. I can throw the grenade. Direct impact gives me 50%. 
and then the actual ice seeker will give me the other 50 percent i can continue to do that infinitely just on the loop like that over and over and over again It'll never run out of grenades as long as i actually hit him of course but i'm doing a decent job of that so far and so yeah already that we're rocking and rolling with this build i just feel like yeah absolutely a solar siphon or a siphon to match whatever your primary ammo weapon is would have just made a whole lot more sense um i'm really rarely ever getting double kills with the deliverance in fact i kind of like the deliverance more as just a way to um you know be able to have a an extra way to freeze the tankier targets so I'm, I'm not loving, you know, I, I like having the weapon deliverance. I like being able to have the choke clip and I like the demolitionist to get more grenades. I like that aspect of it. I just don't like investing into the idea that we're going to be doing a lot of ad clearing with it. Most of our ad clearing is with our primary weapon. I think it makes a lot more sense to have uh, your siphon match your primary weapon. So take care of that champion. Get this revive. Then we'll drop these Shriekers, slowly but surely. Ow. Almost gonna get one shot. I think this is a good time to toss out a stasis turret. Yeah, you're not allowed to play the game anymore, buddy. Ooh, can it freeze the Shrieker? Oh, let's go. Oh, although I guess freezing the Shrieker doesn't really do us a whole lot of good, though, does it? Because it just makes it close. So, uh, yeah, that's... I mean, I guess it's not shooting at you, then, at least. Good old Polaris Lance. And then we'll plank away, plank away, plank away. And we're good. So now we can pull up over here. I think I'm right away. I want to throw a turret right on top of wherever the unstoppable ogre spawns. So there he is right there in the back. I want to get a turret on him. So he is just constantly frozen. And then I can start throwing regular cold snaps because they're going to get refunded in full from hitting him directly and then bouncing on the ground and scattering around to hit a bunch of enemies. But what's even better than that in this situation is that when it comes to the cold snap grenade, you get a refund. Uh, you, you potentially have a chance to get four different instances of refunding from every grenade that you throw because you can get a refund from the direct hit of the grenade and then the seeker will go ahead and run around and freeze three different enemies. So you can get a refund from the direct hit plus the three enemies that get frozen by the Seeker, which means you can get a pretty ridiculous amount of grenade energy from just one grenade throw. So like, for example, right here, if I try and throw it right there, look at the grenade icon. Boom. Boom. I, ba I basically got two full grenades from just throwing one because... I would the way I threw it probably direct impacted one of the boss enemies, the champion or the boss ogre. Fell on the ground. Seeker hit the champion. Seeker probably hit another trash mob, and then the seeker probably hit the boss ogre. Ridiculous amount of grenade refund energy. So I'm gonna display that again. I only have one grenade available right now. So if I throw it there, boom, there's one. There's another instance of refund. If the seeker goes and finds something else, looks like it didn't. So let me try again with the bigger ogre. So there's one instance of refund. Okay, bad examples. <laughs> oh, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, I believe that you only get the refund instance if you hit an if you hit an enemy that is not already frozen. So that might be a, 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 the the stasis turret being on the field. Plus the cold snap seeker running around trying to freeze things. They might be kind of fighting with each other. So if I do no stasis turret and just throw the grenade. Boom, there's half. Oh my god. Yep. So I bet I can probably... What, do, what if I just start chucking cold snap grenades? 
in the middle of a bunch of, you know, enemies. Yeah, I can basically spam cold snap grenades. <laughs> oh my god, look, I, I already have both. That's so funny. Throw another one. Row another one. Row another one. Row another one. Another one. Phenomenal blast. Another one. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. So yeah, you have the you have the turret option for if you want to have kind of like a minion that freezes everything, or depending on the tiers of enemies that you're fighting and whatever section you're currently in. Could just uh could do the spam throw method. Whoa! Big tip for the Grandmaster Corrupted. When you change realms, don't have the audacity to be where the unstoppable ogre is. Not that you can know where it is, you know, because you're in a completely different realm. How, how are you supposed to know where it is? But, you know, just, uh... Just be better, honestly. Mm -mm. So we're gonna get in our cold snap grenade here. Let's keep cold snapping. Okay, make use of the deliverance as well. Got some special ammo, get a little extra damage. Getting our cold snap out there. I wonder how the damage is uh, of our winter's wrath. No, well. The damage is so good that upon casting it, the, the boss just fell over. He was that scared of me. Obviously. Definitely wasn't a Celestial Nighthawk from my teammate. Nope. Absolutely not. Okay, so we're going to keep on plinking away. Uh, here, I kind of do want to get a stasis turret out to just constantly freeze this guy. Because I just, I don't want to focus on throwing cold snap grenades at him. I just want to focus on beaming him with my guns. Although we are taking a lot of heat from the Shrieker, so I think I'm going to back it up a little bit. Maybe I will just stick to that. I, I, it's tough. I, I'm trying to judge when the best situation is to use a turret versus just throwing the cold snap grenade regularly. I feel like if you're just dealing with a champion or two champions or something like that, or if there's a champion even in the mix somewhere, I think it's almost always better to just use the cold snap grenade because you're going to get it back in full as long as you actually land a direct impact on them. Compared to if you throw a turret, you're not going to get that turret back because when you use the grenade as a turret, it's not going to give you the refund from Osmium Ancy Gloves. So I feel like it's probably better if I'm like dealing with a champion, probably just better to spam the cold snap grenades. And then I can use the turrets for more uh, minor enemy add dense situations, uh, like tons of red bars, tons of orange bars, and things of that nature. But even. Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep on rolling. I mean, so far, so good, though. I mean, clearly, we're not really struggling to get through this Grandmaster Nightfall, so. I'm, I'm liking where we're at right now. I kind of want to skip past these Shriekers to get into the portal. So, oh, I have invisibility from my teammate. But even if I didn't, I could just go, hey. Be quiet, Shrieker. Okay, let's get a turret on the field. And then we can start lobbing in some extra grenades. Get our grenades completely back when we chuck them at this guy because he is a champion. 50% for the direct impact and then 50% for the seeker bolt. And what's really cool is if you only have one grenade in your inventory, you can actually get more than 100% grenade refund, like I said earlier. If you have extra enemies around that the second and third instance of the seeker bolt uh, end up hitting. Because you have four potential instances of refund for every grenade that you throw. Pretty powerful. Let's, uh, let's get, let's get some deliverance on this guy. We'll start getting some grenades down on these fellas. I kind of want to test my previous theory of, do I only get the refund from throwing cold snaps if it 
hits a non-frozen target. So let's if, if I throw it at that guy, and then I immediately throw another one, he's already frozen. Okay, so it's kind of I see I, I see what happened just there. So it's 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 a little more convoluted than that. So Osmiomancy will give you the refund instance if you hit the target. It has nothing to do with whether or not they're frozen. The problem is if you continuously chuck cold snap grenades at a target that is already frozen, the se the ice seeker bolt, the little seeker that travels on the ground, it will not seek to a frozen enemy. So if you try to throw multiple cold snaps at the same frozen enemy, yes, the direct impact will give you the refund, but you will not get the second refund from the Seeker because the Seeker won't try to go get the enemy because it's already frozen. In the Seeker's brain, I, well, I mean, it's a line of code. It's a, it's a made-up digital grenade. But if I had to imagine what was going on in the Seeker grenade's brain, it probably is saying to itself, hey, this guy's already frozen. Let's go find something that's not frozen. Which, you know, okay, you know, again, I... What do you guys think is going on in the Seeker's brain? What do you think the Seeker's thinking about? You think the Cold Snap Seeker is thinking about what it's going to have for breakfast the next morning? I'm curious. Let me know. What, what, what do you think the Seeker's thinking? What goes through its head? 1000111000. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, zero. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm. Oh, uh, boys, by the way, don't don't make the jump. Don't make the jump if you haven't already. Don't make the jump yet. Um. Now, I know this is a will of build video, but we are doing this in the Grandmaster Corrupted. I know the Grandmaster Corrupted is a strike that a lot of people have trouble with. Uh, like I said, I do Grandmaster Corrupted carries on my live stream, twitch.tv slash MacDix, but I still like like to show you guys little tricks and stuff in these YouTube videos that we do. For this section where you're jumping down, I know sometimes people struggle with this and they die here. You only need one person on your fire team that's good at it because once they get to the bottom, it pulls everyone else. If you're the person who has to do that for your fire team, it's really easy to make it down, actually. If you approach it just straight on, you kind of aim for right there. So you kind of want to fall in between these two rocks, kind of hugging this wall, if that makes sense. And then from there, it's basically a straight drop down. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but that's the way I've always done it. And I've literally never had a single issue. Just throwing that out there for anyone who's struggling with that section, because that's a rough way to wipe a GM if you die during that fall down part. So just throw it over there. May I ask why Deliverance over Riptide? Because I have Deliverance, I don't have Riptide. Here's your answer. Uh-oh. That's mighty unfortunate. I thought my teammates would come with me. Not gonna lie. Have you ever tried Lament with Stronghold? I have a whole build video about it. Uh, probably a blinding gel. Over. Let's go and get a cold snap over there. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. I wonder how there's a bunch of Thrall down here. I wonder how much Cold Snap energy I'll get back if I just chuck it down there at all the Thrall. Oh, I still get a pretty decent amount. Maybe chuck it down there at those two Minotaurs. Ah! Chill Clip kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. I don't like Chill Clip at all. 
It takes like three shots just to freeze something. It's annoying. I don't like choke clip. Booty. Yeah, honest, uh, it, it, so, so far using this build in this run, uh, without a doubt, in my opinion, the chill clip fusion rifle, the deliverance, or even the riptide is absolutely not necessary. If, you know, you guys want to use a different special weapon with this, I think you're completely okay, too. Uh, it's definitely not uh, super, super impactful, this build. This build is great ability regeneration, and it's mostly coming from the Osmiomancy gloves. Um, and other armor mods that you got going on in this build. So, uh, I know kind of at the beginning we talked about if we would need alternatives for Deliverance or Riptide for people that didn't have them. Uh, for sure not necessary. That much I am confident about. Mm -mm. it was good enough without it yeah i mean i i i, I mean i i knew it was going to be solid because uh like i said this is basically it's it, it's the armor 3.0 version of the stasis warlock playbook video i made um boys i'm gonna ask you all a favor do not kill these enemies i want to try something i'm asking you guys to not shoot at the enemies just leave them alive so we have a big cluster of enemies over there. I want to see how well I not only get cold snap grenade refund from just chucking cold snaps at them, but I want to see how well it kills them from the shatter damage. So if I just chuck cold snap grenades over there and shoot like one enemy, <laughs> that is funny. Stasis shatter is so powerful. I, I think it's one of the most underrated things in the game. It's absolutely sweet. Every single thing just exploded. I love that. Whoa! Got in a boxing match with that guy. I'll give one of you guys the ball. Okay. Would Wicked Implement cook in this build? It probably, honestly, Wicked Implement would probably be fantastic here. Okay, let's lob another cold snap grenade. Get everything frozen. Let's lob even another one. Yep, everything's dead. Bye-bye. And I have both of my cold snap grenades back. What if I started just throwing them over there before these enemies even jump over? Yep, that works pretty well, too. Let's just keep lobbing cold snaps. Here, have another cold snap. Here, you guys want another cold snap? Another cold snap? Oh, taking a little heat from the night fire right there. Another cold snap? And then here, this should freeze all the Scions. Just shoot one, shatters it, everything blows up. Let's, uh, let's get a turret over there, actually. Because the turret will be able to reach some of the enemies that I can't really see and keep them frozen, so these Scions will stop duplicating. The nice thing about the turret, too, is it kind of tells me where enemies are because wherever the turret is shooting, I know there's an enemy there, even if I can't see it. The turrets last for so long as well. Incredibly, incredibly powerful. 
Um, do we have Nighthawk back yet? I kind of want to... I kind of want to wait for Nighthawk to come back. Because I want to... Yeah, I think it'll be okay. So let's path over here, obey the boss over so we can get an easier DPS angle. And then we can go straight into the portal. To one of my allies. Oh, okay. Got choked. Into the portal we go. And here's definitely a spot where I want a turret because I want something that will apply slow because there's a taken... Uh, overload Hobgoblin up there. And so I want slow so it'll do the overload stun as opposed to just the cold snap freeze. So there we go. My turret's stunning that taken overload Hobgoblin. It's going to keep doing the slowing bolts, which will continuously apply overload so I don't have to worry about the taken Hobgoblin shooting the retaliation orbs, which do so much damage. And he is uh, dead just like that. And then I think I can maybe even get another stasis turret over there. It'd probably help if I didn't overthrow the stasis turret, wouldn't it? Oh, I didn't overthrow it. I thought I chucked it past the ledge. That's going to make it way easier to kill these ads over here so that the boss moves on to the next platform. Hop on over. And look, I have Radiant, like I said before. See how I can shoot through these barrier vandal shields now? Fun fact about Radiant. It's actually not necessarily Radiant. It's the anti-barrier that you get through having Radiant. Trying to finish off this Taken Knight so that the boss goes to the next platform. Clink, clink, clink. Hop on over. Cold Snap Grenade at the Taken Phalanx. And we can continuously do that. Freeze him every time because we get it all back. Throw another one. Another one. Oh, that was the best melee I've ever thrown in my life. He's very confused. <laughs> Look, we're bullying him. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I think what I want to do for this section is I want all these scions dead pretty much immediately. So I think I'm just going to throw a stasis turret in the back where they all spawn right away. So I'm just going to run up. And cook up a turret and chuck it back there. Hopefully my aim is good. Looks a little far back. I think I, I also have my stasis super as well. Worst case scenario. Keep DPS in the boss. Cold snap. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the ending was a little tight. I probably shouldn't jump. I probably should have jumped directly at the boss. Uh, but <laughs> I thought it was going to die a little more quickly, honestly. We still clear the GM, so all that matters right there it is platinum clear of the grandmaster corrupted with a will of build
But will a build can platinum a GM Nightfall carry? Then I feel like it will in fact build. I had I had a pretty good idea this one would build because it is very, very, very similar to the Stasis Warlock playbook video that I made way back when before the recent armor mod changes happened. Um, it's, it's effectively the same subclass setup, a uh, similar weapon setup, um, just with different armor mods since mods change when Lightfall hit. Um, so yeah, of course, it will in fact build. The one thing I want to look at, though, is the Whisper of Torment. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one. I think I would actually, in this build, prefer... Because I don't like incentivizing, you know, I don't, I, I don't like rewarding myself and encouraging myself to have a play style that encourages me to get hit by things. So I think I would instead really like the Whisper of Refraction where defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy, at least in content where getting hit by enemies can like at the snap of a finger be a death like in a Grand Master Nightfall. If you're running in lower end content where you can soak a lot more hits, I think you can go ahead and get away with Torment. I would like Refraction a little bit more in a GM context though. Um, because more class ability uptime equals more Reaper procs for more orbs and therefore more armor charge stacks for grenade kickstart and more procs of bomber for more grenade energy. And generally speaking, Warlock class ability having a healing rift is pretty strong. Also got powerful attraction on the class item, so it scoops up all nearby orbs as well. So I think that's what I would go with instead in a Grandmaster Nightfall. That's the one tweak I would make. I like the mod setup very, very much. The only thing I would change in the mod setup is, like I said, the Harmonic Siphon to go ahead with the Stasis Deliverance that we were using. That's not really what we're using for ad clear all that much. In fact, I don't think that weapon is really necessary for this build at all. I think having a demolitionist weapon in general is fantastic, but I think, you know, try to go for something with demolitionist on your primary ammo weapon and then go ahead and take a siphon that matches with your primary ammo weapon. You're going to be creating many, many, many more orbs, which will end up giving you way more uh, grenade energy overall in the long run from grenade kickstart even though you don't have the special version of Demolitionist, which gives you 20% grenade energy per kill, as opposed to the 10% when getting a Demolitionist weapon kill with primary ammo. So those are the couple things that I would change. Still will build, still wins a thousand silver, still a great submission, absolutely love it. If you want your build reviewed in one of these videos, please make sure to submit it in the Will It Build channel in my Discord server linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day. Another Will It Build episode in the books. How'd you guys like it? Good job? How did I do? How did I? Uh, yours truly. How did the host do? Again, sorry, not super talkative with chat during those Will It Build videos. Now we're done with the Will It Build video. Now I can chit chat with you guys all day long. While we do some whetstone and Grandmaster Nightfall carries. You were chill? Oh, because it's a stasis build. I get it, Sagar. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's very clever. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What is Whetstone? It's the exotic mission. Um to get the wicked implement exotic scout rifle that you access through deep dives. Mm -mm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Type... If you're able to play right now, type the number one in chat if you need help getting the Wicked Implement Exotic Sky Rifle. Type the number two if you need help with the Grandmaster Nightfall. Type three if you would take help with either. All right, I'll grab. Let's start with wicked implements. Uh, Tech and Arachnos, I'll run you two through.
Mm. Oh wait, Arachnus. I just, uh, I just, you, you, you were on the GM carry run, weren't you? Eh, nah. I, I, I already, I already told you I would help you. I already told you I'd pull you through. Get on in here. Get on in here. I got you. I, I already said I'd help you. I got you covered, bro. Not, not double backing. Um. Where's my, uh... Do I not have an infused... Cinetuff? Apparently not. Whatever. Um, Arachnos or Tech, do either of you have all of the exotic fish, by the way? Because I only got one of them. I do? Cool. We good then. I need to upgrade. Which one, which one of these is better? This is a 66. Um... Uh... So, oh, I've turned my alerts back on. Um, X Boomer, thank you so much for the tier one for two months, by the way. Uh, sorry, it took me forever to say thank you to that. I, in the middle of a Willow Build episode recording, so I was distracted making the YouTube video and whatnot. But thank you so much, X Boomer. I appreciate it. Sir Chadfather, thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub uh, over on your end. Appreciate you guys for all the support. Seriously, thank you. Void Scavenger. I need Arc Scavenger. Wait, can I have both? It's okay, Sophista Fable. I got it under control, homie. Uh, deep dives. I posted on your YouTube and Discord. What? Dude, what? Mm -mm. I'm pretty new to watching you live, Mac, but I gotta say you seem so great with your community. I mean, I have the best community on, on the entire platform, so kind of hard to, you know, you guys are you guys are absolutely the best. Hey, dude, just subscribe. What's up, Doma? I got the best community around town. Or do, uh... No, you're the best? No, you are the best. Chat, we're, we're, we're not having this conversation again. I'm not the best. You guys are the best. Accept it. Just say, okay, Mac, I accept that I'm the best. Just say it. Y'all are not winning this fight. Um, okay, so the first statue... The first statue is somewhere around here, right? Isn't it like... Like over here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. This is the first one. Cool. Got wrecked by the Tormentor. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. it, it it's honestly so free. PvP will it build? No, I don't play PvP. How do I join you? Um, 
I'm just kind of picking people from chat right now. Maybe it, maybe we'll start doing raffles as we get going. Yeah, I just I, I don't like PvP at all. Oh, don't we also all need to talk to the Tolan Orb as well? No need to do the Tolan stuff. Oh no, that's only if you want tier seven. That's only if you want tier seven. That's right. That's only if you want tier seven. For the catalyst. Yeah. Yeah, no, we actually don't want to do any of that nonsense. All right, I haven't done this in forever, so it's going to kind of take me a second to jog my memory a little bit. Any build ideas for the Mass Effect Transmog gear? Um, I'm not really a big uh, Destiny fashion guy. I use the same shader on all of my armor. What's up, Mara? Roland? I don't know if that's his name. Only PvP. I like his Gambit. I like Gambit a lot. I used to play Gambit tournaments. Sorry. Uh, apologies. Let me rephrase. I used to win Gambit tournaments. I look like some phony to you guys. Tolan will make the whetstone part harder. Nah, the, the, the difficulty increase falls off. It just makes getting to whetstone harder, which is like, you know, still something you don't want to do, but it doesn't make the actual whetstone activity itself harder. Can you not win with your skill level? Oh, you flatter me. Guys, I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all. Flattery will get you everywhere. With me, at least. You guys are good at sweet talking. Pretty much give me to do whatever. All right, we got to get the uh, statue in there. Also, by the way, guys, once again, do me a favor. If you need the wicked implement exotic sky rifle, if you need help with it, you need to carry today. Type one in the chat. Type it one more time. Once again. Okay, I need you. To, I need you guys to listen to me very carefully, okay? I need you guys to listen to me very, very, very carefully, okay? Because when I used to do these, my number, the number one thing that would send me spiraling, absolutely spiraling. Okay. Listen to me very carefully. If the DPS phase has already started and you die after the phase has already started. So you have a death during the DPS phase. If you get revived after you die during the DPS phase, you will no longer have the damage buff. So if you die in the middle of the DPS phase and then you get revived, your one concern is to kill adds. If you start slinging your super and your heavy ammo at the boss, it will do one damage. Don't do it. Now listen carefully. That is not to be confused with if you are already dead 
before the DPS phase starts, and then you get revived after it begins, you will still have the DPS buff and can then do damage. It's only if you die after the damage phase has already begun. If the damage phase has begun and then you die, when you get picked up, no more damage buff. Don't waste your ammo, don't waste your super. What is the name of the buff? No idea. Couldn't tell you. I can tell you in like five minutes, but right now, can't tell you. I have got no clue. A damn clue. Sharp something? Sharp stick. Pointy stick. Deadly pencil. You are helping get Wicked Implement. That's what I'm doing around now. And GM carries. I'm doing both. Probably gonna alternate. Your Q. Uh, right now I'm just picking people like kind of of my own volition. So like the two people in here right now, Tech and Aractos, they're two people that have been in the stream for a long time and support the stream a ton. So I just kind of like singled them out and was like, hey boys, I'm, I'm gonna pull you in. Probably go, probably do like one or two more runs like that and they'll probably do raffles. Ow. <laughs> oh, other pet peeve for Whetstone, by the way, boys. When we walk into, like, the maze area to go and find all the minotaurs to kill, I will always go to the left. You guys should always go to the right. There's never any point in us all going the same direction. That's sick. I wish I had that ability. It's okay, Wolfburn. I got, I got it. Clint, thank you so much for becoming a brand new member over on YouTube, dude. I appreciate it a ton. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so we do we to a statue. We, we, we each do one. There we go. Oh, I love the underwater part. It's actually my favorite. I got it with three adverts. Uh, yeah, you gotta be a subscriber if you want to make it so that you never get ads. If you guys don't like getting hit with the ads, being a sub is the best way to make sure you never get them ever, ever, ever again. Laggy today, Mac? Mmm, you sure? Sure the lag's not on your end? Might be on your end. Looks fine on my end. My stream is fine too. My, yep. Seems like the lag is all you. Hmm. 
Is that a hot take to say that, like, the underwater sections are my least favorite thing that they have ever added to the game? Whoa! Fame Onion, thank you so much for a brand new tier 2 sub. That is, uh, pretty freaking cool. Appreciate it, homie, thank you. Deathly Sharp! This is what the buff is called. It is, it is just now coming to my attention that I didn't give these guys any weapon re uh, recommendations whatsoever. I hope they have some decent DPS weapons. Otherwise, my divinity means nothing. Hold up, hold up, before we start the time in the time section. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, boys, hold up, boys. Um, the Nighthawk is fine. Go like. Because we're, we're, we're going to have a rally flag here. Bro, on like. On, honestly, just want like Thunderlord. Don't thought it'll work. Honestly. You'll be fine. And you'll just absolutely blast the divinity bubble. <clears throat> Fame Onion, thank you so much. Uh for the brand new tier two, homie. Uh not not often that you see a uh, brand new sub as a as a tier two or a tier three. So appreciate that a great deal. Thank you. Well, I'm assuming he's ready because he's standing in front of me. Oh, the guy's still cooking. Cool. They do it. Yeah, basically, if you see me put a divinity bubble on someone, that means you pull out Thunderlord and you blast him. Wait, you only get 10 minutes to do this? Why do I think you got 20 minutes? Oh yeah, shoot that. You boys, I like I I I do not remember this shit at all. There's one. Two. Honestly, we pop well early. Okay, now we blast boss, blast boss, blast boss. Blast boss, boys. Blast boss. Okay. Try to clean up. Rally flags at the top, right? You guys go right, I go left. No man for him. Okay, I gotta find all the minotaurs. My ammo ends up being really brutal here, so I have to get pretty surgical. You guys can go to middle. I'll get the last mentor. You guys go to middle. Go 
Go to middle, I'll meet you for damage. Just start clearing up ads and shit. Oh. Um, okay, so if, if you'll still do damage because you weren't- you didn't die during the DPS phase. So you'll still do damage. You'll still do damage. So it's okay to shoot the boss. I need to like melee. I don't know where Rakdos is right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, just Thunderlord. Once uh once the well runs out, you can get to a safe distance and pop the Nighthawk. We're gonna need that super damage. Okay, so let's let's get to a safe distance. Oh, hold on, let me get the bubble on. Let me get the bubble on before you Nighthawk. Right, you're not gonna be able to hit him. Okay. Right. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I think. Okay, we might need a. Uh... That's my, uh, that's my bad. I, I, I needed to give you guys loadouts before, before we walked in. Um, mm -mm. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it would be a better idea if I just stuck the two people that I'm helping in the middle permanently to clear ads and maybe I just take care of Minotaurs. Because them both being dead, walking into the DPS phase, uh, made it so that we were swarmed by ads. Did one person just leave? It's probably like an air now problem or something. I don't really know. Oh, do you not have Thunderlord Catalyst? Um... You have Legend of Acrius? No. Um. Sleeper Simulant with Catalyst? Deuces, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, dude. Deuces, thank you so much. I appreciate it, homie. I want to give, uh, I want to give Arachnos a few minutes. Uh, I don't know if like their internet went on or something. So I want to give uh, I, I want to give Arachnos a uh, a few minutes hop back in. I mean that room that room was on me. I I needed to give them loadouts beforehand. I completely forgot to do that, and I haven't done this mission in like five months or six months. So I just getting back to it. Yeah, we'll be we'll be fine. Destiny is not ending after the final shape. No. Favorite flavor slash kind of donut? Chocolate glazed. That shit's so good. Chocolate glazed is elite.
Um, just in case we lost Aractos, do I have anyone else who needs help getting the exotics out? No, nah, it's not going to be a problem, Tuck. Mm -mm. I can help you get the exotic. No, Vovo, I said, does anyone in here need help getting the exotic out? I already have that shit. I've done... I used to do carries for this shit all the time. I've already got it. I'm helping other people get it. Uh, yes, yeah, skadoosh, why don't you hop in? I'll pull you. I do mount out all the fish. Uh, for this round, it doesn't matter because the uh, tech has all the fish. But yeah, skadoosh, I'll, I'll grab you. Exclamation mark join for my join code. I'll make it easy to hop in. And then maybe after this round, we can switch raffles. That's you, right, Skadoosh? By the way, the person who just joined, that's you. Best build for GMs on Hunt. Oh, Hunter. Omniaculus, in my opinion. Uh-oh. You need to pull up on a character that has access to deep dives. All right, chat, raise your hands again. Who needs help getting this shit? Yeah, hey, protein bar. Uh, nah, you're chilling, Arachnos. That sounds a lot more important than silly video game gun. Hopefully, hope all y'all are safe and shit. How to unlock deep dives? I actually don't know anymore. Um, lethal pacifist. I'll pull you up. Yo, anyone in the mood for some G-Subs right now? <laughs> to test to see if my alerts work now. Mm -mm. Yeah, Lethal Pacifist, I need your, um... I need your Bungie ID so I can send you an invite.
actually started using Jim because of your YouTube videos. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's helping out, right, Fame Onion? One sec. I'll give you 15 of them. Alright, Clint Robinson, if you throw your Bungie ID in the chat first, I'll pull up. Oh, never mind, sorry. Little pastors beat you to it. Guys, please make sure if you're needing help with this kind of stuff that you're ready to go. I'm called upon. Please enter a valid profile name. Oh boy. My name is Clint Robertson. I said Clint Robinson. Be rough. So did you just get sponsored by GSUPS? My client leader was telling me about. Yeah, I did. Yep. Teamed up with um a couple days ago. And we've been trying to get the alerts to work on stream. And I'm told that they were fixed, but we don't we won't know until someone places an order with our discount code. Mm. B Rough, I asked you a question earlier and you so rudely ignored me. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. Have you tried the noodles? I've tried all three flavors. They're all amazing. Chicken one's the best though. Have I tried noodles? No, I asked if you, that one time you came in and asked me for streamer luck for, for your flawless game. I asked if you ended up going flawless. Then you ignored me. Very rudely, I might add. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. Uh, Clint. Clint Robinson over in the YouTube chat. Throw your bungee. Throw your bungee ID in the YouTube chat. I'll send you an invite. I'll help you get. I actually did go flawless. Wow. So you went flawless with the help of my streamer luck and you didn't even think to come report back to me? I wouldn't consider it. I'll upgrade myself to tier three next week on the fit. Nope. Nope. It's too late, B Rough. It's too late. What we had is gone. It'll never be the same. Uh yeah, Lethal Pacifist. I I I was trying to tell you the I I tried to send you invites twice and it said it was an invalid bungee ID. It applies the code, but it's only 10%. Oh, yeah, the 22... Grim, can you update the command so it says 10%? The 22% was a limited time thing. Gonna order me some nudes in a sec? Like, sh sh should I wait to start the run, Grim, to see if the alert goes? Made an order? Oh, okay, so Tech just made an order. Please work. You guys are using code MacDix, by the way, right? Not code Mac. 
Because I think the alerts are only going to work for code MACDIX. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Yeah, I see, I, I see the order on my thing. Uh, you must have just typed your Bungie ID incorrectly. I can't believe you're being like this. I thought we had something. We did have something, B Rough. That's what make it that's what makes it hurt so much. We did have something. And then you ruined it. I guess no tier three and no zipping. Good! Good! I'm allergic to tips anyway! God. You get you, you, you give a guy good luck with his flawless game and he doesn't even tell you when he goes flawless. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, right guys? Type F in the chat if that's fucked up. <laughs> that's that's fucked up. Yeah! Yeah! Shame him! Ban me, please? No. You have to... You have to wallow in it. You have to wallow in it. You have to... Li you gonna make me live with your... Yeah! Yeah, damn straight I'm gonna make you live with your shame. Yes! That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Live my fucking chain. Yeah. What's up, Law? How you doing? Law, one of the six clone troopers that resides in the 501st with me. Still got a uh, still got four clone troopers up for grabs, boys. Still got four clone troopers up for grabs. We uh the sixth was claimed last night by Trevor. Clone troopers? I have little Lego clone troopers. Yo, what's up, Khalifa? Can you see my... Oh, shit, I'm gonna... Drown. I'm gonna... Uh... Dev... Definitely shouldn't be banned in Twitch chat, Khalifa. I don't get any responses from anyone. Did did you type in the Twitch chat? No, yeah, Khalifa, I see your message over here, bro. What's up, man? No, you're, you're, you're definitely not shadow banned, my bro. You're my homie. I want to shadow ban you. Ah, you're a G. Mm mm. No, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, do I need to walk through the clone trooper explanation? I, okay, I need to clarify. It is, it, it is like 50,000% like a meme. Okay. Okay, so basically, I'm, I'm gonna let these guys take care of the deep dive right now. I'll walk through it, I'll walk through it, okay? So. Hi, by the way. Oh, full screen back. Uh, so. Long story short, we built a we we built the Lego um, Venator class Republic cruiser. This bad boy. 
and it is sitting like it's the centerpiece on the entertainment stand of our living room, like right below our TV, front and center in our living room. But I was thinking, I was like, dude, like it only comes with two minifigures. Um, I need like more 501st Clone Troopers because I love the Clone Wars. So I went online and I ordered 18 501st Clone Troopers. But, and I didn't realize this when I placed the order, but when I got them, I realized that eight of them are like, their armor is designed and modeled and named after actual troopers like in the series, right? So like this is, so like I've got, this is Rex, right? I've got uh, like I've got tons of them, or I, I have a picture. It'll be easier to show a picture. Um, got so this is so it came with it had Rex, Echo, Jesse, Dogma, um, Kicks, Fives, Top, and Hardcase. But then there's ten that are just like generic five o five o first clone troopers that are just like you know they're not any they're not any specific trooper so i was like dude i need to figure out a way to come up with names for the troopers and then someone dropped a 100 gifted sub bomb in the stream and i was like dude i am 100 percent naming a trooper after you and then so it just kind of turned into for the foreseeable future, anyone who drops a 100 gifted sub bomb in the stream, we name a clone trooper after them. And then it went even further to the point where one of my mods, Grim, said, Hey, Mac, I have a 3D printer. I can custom print stands for the troopers. And so Grim literally sent me pictures of some of the test ones. So he's going to mail these to me, and I'm going to stick the troopers on them. So that's the, that's, that's the long, that's the long story short. Right. I, I, and a hundred, and, and a hundred bomb is massive. That's why I said, like, it's kind of like a meme thing where it's like. It's kind of like fucking around. Mm -mm. Okay, cool. That's how she's on. Is that how it went down, Ghost? I can't even remember. I, I've been hopped up on caffeine the past couple days. Oh, you're right. Because I said, I, I said, I said, you know what? Screw it. In addition to, because we already do the limited edition card decks, I remember how it went. I said, hey, we already do limited edition card decks for anyone who drops 100 gifted, so screw it. Now what I'll do is, in addition to that, they get a clone trooper named after him. And then you did it. And then a bunch of other people followed suit. For some reason, I thought you did it, and that's what started the cascade. What's up, Sam? Mm -mm. It's okay. It, it's okay, B Rough. I'll forgive you right now. You don't have to do anything. I I, I forgive you. I'm a, I'm a I'm a man of forgiveness. Speaking of the clone troopers, there's another one, dude. We have th we have three. No, Sagar's in here. We have four. We have four clones. We have four clone troopers in the chat right now. We got Archie, we got Ghost, we got Sagar, we got Law. I think I said, is Hound still in here? I saw Hound in here earlier. Yo, what's up, Atrox? How you doing, bro? Hound is here. The only clone trooper that we're missing right now is Trevor. The only the only clone trooper that we have named after chat that we have missing right in here right now is Trevor. I, I swing at the. 
All right, we're going to actually make sure that we beat the Whetstone mission this time. I need to make sure that I don't screw up. The only thing is, uh, since I saw both of you on Nighthawk, make sure you're far away from the boss when you pop Nighthawk because you don't want him to do the slam on the ground and suppress you because even if you're in the well, you'll get suppressed. Yeah, yeah, Tra Trevor's actually fighting on the front lines. Trevor's actually out fighting battles right now. The other five clone troopers, they're just, they're just watching streams. You guys gotta be out busting clankers. Which is, dude, such a dude. I, uh, I unironically use that as to like insult people in day to day life. Like, if I want to make fun of someone, I call them a clanker. <laughs> hey, G Easy! G Easy, thank you so much for the five gifts of subs, dude. How are you doing today? Chat, can we all get a. Can everyone who can hear me at least, can we all throw a W in the chat for the five gifts from G Easy? Appreciate it a lot, my man. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. I, myself, for those who are curious, am having a fantastic weekend. Had a squash match this morning against my dad. Whooped his ass. So, uh, you yeah, know. You yeah, know. Had a nice dinner last night, too. This weekend started off right, and then we got the Super Bowl tomorrow. And we got a Will It Build episode releasing after I end stream today. And we'll probably have another Will It Build episode release on Monday. This is taking a lot longer than our first run. Maybe it's just doesn't pay more attention to it. Need something to distract me a little bit more. The the the, the first two waves of deep dives that you have to do just to get to the exotic mission is so boring. So boring. Whoa! Do I have a dancing emote on my warlock? I need a. There we go. Yo, River Rat! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, Omi. Not just that, but also River Rat's very first time gifting in the stream. Chat, can we all give a huge W in chat to River Rat? Everyone who can hear this, drop some W's in the chat to not only say thanks for the 10 gifted subs, but to also welcome them to the gifted sub club. Very first time gifting the stream, River Rat. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It is time to cook. Mm, a hype train is close, and we're about to walk into the time portion of the exotic mission. That is a recipe for disaster. Did you guys know that hype trains are actually bad? Source, trust me. Uh, so source, just trust me. Please. I love the trust me bro source. My two favorite sources are trust me and it was revealed to me in a dream. 
Those are the those are the two best sources. I made it up as a solid third. Re revealed to me in a dream is number one though. Catch. Your blade teams. Which is Spanish for Fuck this dude up. There we go. Okay, that damage is looking a little more crispy. You guys can pop, by the way, you guys can pop your Nighthawks uh, for the DPS phase when we get to this guy here too, by the way, because remember, we get the Rally Flag when we go. Native of a lifetime. A scooter on over here. Shoot that. Okay, cooking time. Oh no. Yeah, Night Nighthawk and then blast him with Thunderlord. Yep, 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 blast with Thunderlord. You're my only damage here. Cool. Winnable, winnable, winnable. I'm not coming back. Okay, rallied up. You guys go right, I'll go left. All right, honestly. Go right, try to find the first Minotaur, and then, like, on, like hover around mid. See ya. Minotaur dead. Okay, go mid, go mid. I'll kill the last Minotaur. Go mid, start cleaning up the ads, and just stay safe. I got last Mino. If you kill me, you're lame. Get in the wall, get in the wall. Nighthawk that fucker. Nighthawk and T-Lord, Nighthawk and T-Lord. He missed. <laughs> keep cooking, keep cooking. Non-stop cookage. The cooking does not stop. When you run out of the bullets, you cook with something else. Okay, well's gone, so cook from distance. Okay, uh, honestly... Um, I think we abort. I think we abort. Hunt for ammo. Solid two phase. I mean, we need to wait for them to get their supers back. I really need my super back as well, which I mean, like, I kind of almost have it. I'll kill this Minotaur so that there's just a little less heat in the arena. 
and then we want to we want to leave the last one up while well, like, uh, I I at least I want super okay I think we're good wow really it's so cringe yeah we're we're fine though there's no way we don't clear Leave me alone! GG. Told you guys this was easy. I went the wrong way. Get baited. Alright, I'm gonna leave you guys in here. So you can wander around and shit. Congrats! Okay, one in chat if you need help getting the exotic scout rifle, wicked implement. Two in chat if you need help with the grandmaster nightfall this week. Did my roll ever get made? Oh, for your custom Discord server roll for your 100 bomb? No, I gotta make that today. Uh, I'm gonna do that right after stream. I was gonna do it yesterday, but uh, went out to dinner and whatnot. A little busy. Um. Divinity room. <laughs> did you will a build already, Mac? I did. I did indeed. But I have an episode of Willow Build releasing today. Like, I it's already uploaded. I have an episode of Willow Build, like, ready to drop. Which I'll probably drop when I finish streaming today. I, I literally have it. Like, it's, it's ready to go. Gonna head out to ski. Oh, that sounds fun. I would love to go skiing right now. I would love to go skiing right now. It sounds like a blast. All 
All right, see you, Tech. Yeah, I've got... I've got an episode of Will of Build literally ready to go. I mean, I gotta put my... I gotta put, like, the thumbnail and stuff on it, but... Got that... Got that right here. Oh, that's awesome, Assassin. Congratulations, dude. I'm I'm sure it'll go perfect. Proposal is a uh, it's a fun time, dude. I'm I'm sure it'll go absolutely perfectly though. Is that the exotic scout? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm, uh, upload thumbnail, thumbnails, yeah. Um... What I what I could do is just call it early today and just like kind of chill for the rest of the day and put this video live right now and you guys can go watch this video. That's an alternate option. Why do I always do the fun stuff when I go to work? Uh, I don't know, guys. That's a good question. Hmm. Yeah, no worries, Clint. Or what I could do is... Another option. Another option. We end early, release the uh, release the video. I chill for a few hours, and then I we can do uh, off stream uh, community raid day for the tier three subs. That could be another option as well. Hmm. It's Saturday, there's just so many possibilities. Or I could play League of Legends and grind ranked. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know why that sounds so fun right now. Probably a terrible idea, but it sounds fun. I think I'm going to do that. I know I shouldn't, but I think I'm going to do that. Boys, I'm a caller early today. I'm going to play a little League of Legends. Um, I will... I'm going to release this video like in like five minutes though. So you got a will of build to go over and watch. I just need uh, I need to do a quick, need to do a quick uh, once over of the video before I make it public. But uh, I need to change the title of it as well. Um, this build, yeah. mm, no, I don't like that.
Hmm. I gotta come up with a title. Come with the title, uh, I gotta look over it and whatever, but I'll keep an eye on Discord, guys. I'll ping it when it goes live. It'll be in like five minutes. So you guys have a nice little video to watch. Nice little Saturday. Ooh, that's a good one. This build was so good. It shattered my expectations. That's good. There we go. We'll try that. Yeah, no problem, Moose. All right, guys, I'm going to call earlier today. I'm going to play some League. Even, you know, against my better judgment. Uh, not going to stream it all tomorrow because it's Super Bowl. But I'll have some videos coming up and whatnot. So keep your eye on the Discord for pings. You'll see them when they come up. Grammatical error. Indubitably. Yeah, I got some league to play. Uh, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for chilling. Much love. Wish me luck. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.